Hi there, and uh, welcome to one of my little computer tricks things. Now, I am using the Insta360 X4 camera, and I'm a Linux user, as you can probably tell. So, this uh, Insta360 doesn't make software for Linux, but it's really well supported in Wine. Let me show you how to do a, a clean install of this software in Wine and have it running perfectly. So the first thing to do would be to get a copy from from here for Windows. So just download that somewhere. I have a copy of it already. And uh, just to show you how easy it is, I'm gonna wipe my Wine config here. So we'll just do Iron minus RF Wine. So that deletes my whole prefix. What you want to have installed, of course, is a copy of Wine and then Wine Tricks as well. On Arc Linux, it's fairly easy. So we'll just run Wine Tricks uh, and set up the environment quickly. So we'll just uh, wait a second while it does its thing. There you go. So it tells me I'm using a 64 bit prefix and that's not a proper uh, good thing. Um, don't worry about it. So we'll select the default prefix, enter that, and then uh, you can change some of the settings. And uh, you can roll through here, see if there are things that you'd like or not like. So I'm gonna go weighted graphics there, keep on going. And uh, there was one other thing that I saw in here that I liked. Oh yeah, I'll use the Vulkan renderer. And uh, yeah, you can stick all sorts of other things in here. Uh, you can go through this list, you can set video modes or whatever, but I'm actually quite happy with this selection. And uh, that's gonna tell me again, give me some warnings, saying you're doing interesting things. And uh, yeah. That should be the thing set up. I can exit here, and then, well, you use the standard one there, you can run wine config. Now, on high resolution screen like mine, I normally set the graphics to 144. Apply that. So there's, there's nothing else in here. And uh, cancel, cancel. So that is that set up. Next thing you want to do is uh, find this website, download that release. So I've done that already and here we are. So this directory, I'm just going to copy and uh, in here I'm just going to go into wine, drive C program files and just paste that directory there. now. This is for full acceleration. So I'm going to open a terminal here, just make it nice and big, so you can follow along. And the command I'm going to do here is set up NVIDIA Libs, install. And it tells you, you are inserting this into the default wine prefix. I'm just going to press Y. It's doing its little wine thing again. And uh, there she goes, wine 10.8, creates all these wonderful things. And you can exit out of that one. So here is the copy of Insta360 Studio. Let's install that sucker. Pops up in English. Agree to that. Where you want it. Program files. Says yay. It's good. Browse for that one, programs, okay. And uh, I don't want the thumbnail plugin, I don't want that plugin. Eh, I don't know, not even that one. Okay, so no add-ons. Do the file associations, create a desktop shortcut. And next on that one, install. So this of course takes a second. But uh, yeah, with very fast drives, it only takes a second and not many, many minutes. So as this program installs, 
I can talk a little bit about wine. Now, I've been using bottles before, but there are some issues, and the bottle devs are really unresponsive in bug reports, um, very dismissive. So I've decided to not use their software and just do a plain wine install. And since wine has advanced so rapidly in the last couple of years, it now works really well. So um, nothing else is needed. And with that uh, NVIDIA Ellipse there and an NVIDIA card, you can get full graphics acceleration. And uh, I'll show you how that works in a minute. So not much more to it. Let's just wait for it to kick up and close some windows in the background. So that's for my previous install there. It's just going to overwrite that file. Dun, dun, dun. And it's a thumbnail service. Yeah, okay, go away. And we can launch Insta360. So we'll wait a little while. There she is, 5.6.1, which is the latest one you can download. And just give it a second. There she is on menu. If you go, it tells me this update will leave that on to the side. If you go to menu, settings, preferences, you'll see I've got my hardware encoders and decoders running. Preview mode is Ultra HD. Hardware acceleration, I can put in both. I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave it on auto. File paths, we can change, blah, blah, blah. blah. Other, all right, so um, that is the entirety of the program. It now runs well, and uh, we can go take a look in documents, videos. Let me let me just show you quickly footage in maybe at twenty four, I believe. I did do some capturing. And here is one of the files, so we'll just open that sucker. And if you press spacebar, you'll see it plays really smoothly. You can look around. That's a pies. And yeah, fully, fully hardware accelerated. You can open it up. Hey, Dan. And uh, yeah. for scale. It still works, still works really well. Um, of course, with the bigger screen and really high resolution, it does struggle a tiny little bit. But every function of the program works, it exports really well. And if you are looking for a 360 camera that's really easy to use in Linux, I would recommend the Insta360 uh, X4. Hopefully this all works out for you. And uh, have a nice day. Cheers.